Good morning, YouTubers. It's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community, and this is episode 35 of the Minecraft Files. And uh, real quick, before we get to our user request, I wanted to show you guys what I did with the uh, the underwater pueblo here. So I I put in all wooden flooring, uh, even around the borders here, so there's no dirt showing. Um, so it looks a lot nicer. So that's under the glass there, and um, I added these lights here in the walls because. If you don't know uh, about Minecraft, you can't actually uh, place torches on glass. So you have to do it on wood, cobblestone, dirt, sand, any other material. But I can right click on this glass all I want and uh, it's not going to place it. So I added a bed and some, um, some a workbench and a chest and a furnace. Um, Actually, I have a piece of meat that I want to cook real fast, too, before we head off to do our next thing. All right, cooking, cooking. Perfect. All right, so let's head out the front door and get blasted by some water. And we'll go up here and grab the boat. And we're going to go back over to the complex over here. And I'm going to show you guys today how to make a simple doorbell. Now, this request comes from SS Falcon Man, and uh, he wanted to see me make a simple doorbell. And if you guys play on the Minecraft Workbench server, and you've seen my store, you know that my store has a nice little doorbell. And um, so we're going to, I will cut this video at the end, and I will hop on that server and show you guys the final product uh, on the server as well as the one on here. So first thing we're going to do is um, you can make it well let's do it I wanted to do it in, in terms of a store I don't want to do it um, like outside you know you can, you can make a um, a doorbell with a button and you hit the button but uh, what, I would, what I really like doing is if you have it on the inside of your store so let's say that somebody is on the outside of your store, they open the door and walk in, that's going to trigger something as they come up to your store counter. And um, you can use the same principle that I'm going to show you here uh, to do for even a doorbell on the outside as well. So first thing we're going to need to do is, um, let's get rid of this door here for a minute. So we have some, some room to work. And uh, we're going to do this underground. So. Let's just start cutting away. Some of the resources here and um Alright. So now the first thing is we want to find out where 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 uh the, the pressure plate is in relation to um, the flooring. So I believe that it's right here. It's right below here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some redstone and we're going to place it there. Now I want to test this connection first before we do anything. So I'm going to run out here and I'm going to place this redstone like this. And um, oh boy, this is going to be tricky. All right, good. So if I step on this here, it's uh, I know that this is that this is a working connection, and that this pressure plate is activating this redstone de wire down here. All right. So now what we need to do actually is we need to craft some some uh, note blocks, and these were included in the beta update. Um, and to do this, you put one redstone in the middle, and you put uh, wood around the outside. And that creates a note block. And we'll do two of these. So you need two. Like this. And you can stack those two, which is really helpful. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place our note blocks, but we, we need to place them on dirt. Um, because if you know how dirt blo uh, note blocks work, you know that um, each the material that the note block is on depends on 
the sound that it makes. So uh, let's see here. Where do I want to put the first one? Let's put the first one back here. I haven't done this in a long time, so this may be kind of trial and error. So we're going to put the Now, to play a note block, you left click on it, change the pitch, right click on it, it goes up the scale. Now, the uh, Minecraft Survival Guide, uh, which I'll provide a link to in my in my in the description of this video, has an awesome section in it uh, about note uh, these note blocks here, and um, the section includes. Uh, the number of clicks it takes to get to each note and it tells you the note and it tells you how to how many clicks to get to each uh, each note so you guys uh, if you're interested check that out it's a wonderful resource um, and it has a lot of cool tips and hints like that all right so now when I step on the pressure plate up there it should activate this wire and we're gonna test that by activating it with a redstone torch uh, which I'm not doing properly. But if I put it on here, so this is just basically a test. So, all right. So that we know that that works now. Now the next thing we have to do is we need to create. Um, what we need to create is the off switch uh, note sound. So over here, let's create that. And this is going to activate when the pressure plate uh, gets stepped off of. So let's see. Uh, let's try this. Like that. Um, right, so I'm going to test something really quick. Oops. So they're both working at the same time. We need to invert this signal. So to invert this, we're going to need, let's see, I think two, maybe th three total of these guys, the redstone torches. So we've got three there. All right, let's try this. Yep, this should work. Okay, so what I've done is I've set up a I've set up an inverter here, and this is gonna, this is changing the signal. So the signal that's coming through to this area right here is off. Now, when this turns on, this will go on through here, and then when it comes through the inverter, the inverter will turn it off. So right now it's activated, and when you step off the pressure plate, when you step on the pressure plate, this one will come on, and then this one. This one will come on when you step off of it, or at least that's how it should happen. Um, so let's test it out by walking over here. And oh no! So it doesn't look like the inverter worked. Hmm. Let me take a look at this real fast. See what's what the deal is here. Because what we want to do is we want to have the the current run through here, and uh, turn this on and off. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. I will cut the video right now. Um, like this video if you... Uh, <laughs> like this video for me failing with a doorbell. Um, we're going to hop over right now to the... I'll cut this video so that uh, 
I'll show you guys the mechanics behind the doorbell I designed on my on the, on the uh, Minecraft Workbench server in my shop. So uh, we'll hop over there right now, and um, I will explain to you guys there how to do it. All right, see you in a sec. All right, guys, so we're back in the single player world here, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead real quick and show you guys how to fix this. Um, so let's see here. All right, so we'll place this underneath the pressure plate, and uh, we're gonna move this block away. Um, let's actually start digging it this way. I mean, you can use as much area space technically as you need. It's just it's up to you on what you want the what do you want it to look like on your store. But either way, it should play loud enough that you hear it. Now, the nice thing about having a doorbell like this is if you're in the back of your store working and somebody walks into your store, um, you can you're alerted of them stepping into your store. So it's it's a really nice little feature, um, and I use it all the time in the um, in the Minecraft Workbench server. So let's uh, let's try this. So the idea is that we want to split split it. So if I do, I think if I do this, uh, I place the inverter here with the redstone wire coming this way and I put my note block on this on this block here and uh, over here oh I need to connect the redstone wire up here like that and over here I should be able to put my lower lower note well that doesn't sound right <laughs> alright let's just use those two notes what the heck all right, so if we come over here and we step on the doorbell. Perfect. It works just as it should. So you'll hear this awful sounding doorbell. So you walk in. Um, I will, let's, uh, we can cover this with dirt right now. Um, I'll make it look a lot better later. But you're going to want to cover this up so people can't tell what's underneath. And they're going to walk in. They'll, uh, They'll walk in the front door, hit the door, and they, you should hear those two sounds, the two pitches, and um, if you're in the back of your store, let's say this is your store and you're standing over here, you're going to hear the sound, you're going to look and you're going to realize, oh, I have a customer. You can run this way, and that is how you make a simple doorbell. So thank you, uh, SS Falcon Man, for sending this in. I hope you guys enjoy uh, the um, chopped up part of it where um, I did go on the server for a little bit to show you my... The, the, some inside workings of my store but uh, make sure you guys subscribe rate, comment and um, make sure you check out all the other videos that I've done uh, also check out my website www.chimneyswift11.com and uh, get ready for uh, episode 36 coming soon alright thanks guys talk to you later